Hey guys, welcome back. I want to go over a couple cool features today in the Navionics app, uh, either for Android, iPhone, iPad, and some of the cool things that it can do. Um, so first one being the depth highlighting that we're going to go over here. And what this does is it'll go ahead and highlight whatever color you select for a certain depth range. Real helpful when you're looking at offshore um, humps, or creek channels, things like that. If you're looking to identify a specific area, uh, let's say you see the fish holding in 10 to 15 feet, you can go ahead and highlight all the 10 to 15 foot ranges uh, on that body of water. So if you go over to menu, go to map options, and then fishing ranges, go ahead and type in the text, do 10 to 15 feet, and adjust the slider. And immediately you'll see that it highlights your lake with those ranges. As you can see, there's some features in here, some offshore humps that you may not have seen just looking at the normal topo map. And this comes in really handy for trying to find those little sneaky areas that maybe most people don't see. This next one, guys, is probably my favorite, and it's actually the one that I keep on my graph, on my fish finder, uh, when I'm fishing on the lake. So this is a really nice feature. It's called relief shading, and it's really good for visualizing the layout of the lake when you're on the water. And you'll see what I mean here in a second, but when you overlay this image uh, along with the actual um, topo lines, you'll see and visualize what the lake looks like as if there were no water in this. So for this, we're gonna go to menu, go to map options, and then go to relief shading. And this is what we get. All of a sudden you can see very defined creek channel, any points that come out. For example, right there, you can see that point very clearly coming out from that bridge have a little pond over to the center of the screen right there. And clearly you can see the shallow areas highlighted in brown going to red. Again, one of my favorite views for this mapping system. All right, the third and final one that we're gonna go over is going to be the sonar imagery. And what this does is it shows the bottom hardness overlay this is great for identifying hard bottom areas where fish love to hold up and potential rocks, things of that nature. Uh, also really great for finding spawning areas during the spawn. And to do this, we're going to go to a menu again, you know, map options and sonar imagery. And now what you get is the dark areas where it's soft bottom and all those yellow or light areas are hard bottom. So you can see around the submerged bridges, the railroad tracks that are there, road beds, all showing up as bright yellow. And uh, that one towards the center I've caught fish at, nice hard bottom over there. Again, you can see it coming under those bridges is always a hard area, that point right there. As we move around again, where that underground pond or that underwater pond was, hard, hard area. And this is just gonna help you guys eliminate water much quicker, finding those, those hard areas where those bass like to hold up. And you'll start noticing that they actually hold uh, true to the topo lines and underwater uh, structure and cover that you find on the map as well. So it's a nice hard area right there as well. So hopefully that was a help as far as using the uh, options and the features of the Navionics app. That is the paid subscription, so you do have to pay um, to get those features. But again, just to recap some of those things, we had the depth highlighting, the relief shading, and then the sonar imagery. Uh, so using those three things, you can be sitting on your couch 
and really eliminate water very quickly before you even get out on the lake. So again, I hope this did help. Please feel free, leave your comments below, um, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys, bye.